Welcome to the Cheryl Podcast with me, Simon Burridge. And me, Rachel Burridge. Hello everyone, Simon and Rachel here on Monday morning Cherrywood podcast. How is everyone doing? So this is the catch up podcast where we tell you about who's coming on, um, who's been on, and we also do random things like have random chats. Uh, we can talk about charities and things. But at the moment, our latest phase is uh, a trivia quiz against each other. You're champion at the moment. You won last week with Friends, Friends, Friends Against Star, Star Wars. Wars, and it was original trilogy, but she cheated by doing <laughs> every one of Star Wars. This week it is Pulp Fiction versus Aladdin. Versus, versus. <laughs> Aladdin. Aladdin. My favourite film, Pulp Fiction, versus her favourite adult type film, Aladdin. So we go to our sponsors, we get back to you in a second. Boom. Today's sponsors are... De Giorgio Properties, your premier choice for expert building solutions. From concept to completion, trust them to turn your dreams into a reality. Visit their website today at degiorgiosproperties.com. De Medici Associates, chartered structural and civil engineers. Based in the UK with a worldwide reach. Visit their website on demediciassociates.com. <laughs> and there we go. Thank you, sponsors. Um, can't do any of this without you so we really appreciate it thank you thank you yeah so aladdin rage is that as adult as you can get yeah it's my favorite film it's my look look it was when when i was poorly when i was little that's my go-to film so if i was sick or anything like that i'd lay on the sofa and my mom and dad would put that on for me so yes it's my favorite film why is, Isn't why that is, wonderful, June? <laughs> I love the feathers. I love the flowers. <laughs> feathers, it's actually feathers. <coughs> oh, is it? That's see? part that's of the why question. I'm not part of, <laughs> that's why I'm not doing yours. Pulp Fiction, love Pulp Fiction. Any reason? Um, I tell you it, what. I, it, it is a good film, I would agree. I tell you what my main reason is for it, because it's been dire- directed so coolly. Coolly. But <laughs> if, you were put, if you were to put that in order, that film, and I have contemplated re-editing it in order. There is one on the internet. Yeah, Someone's already apparently, done it. yeah, someone beat me to it. Um, the stars of the show would last five minutes. Like Tim Roth, his bit is oh, at the start, yeah, yeah. is at the end. So what Tarantino's managed to do, he's managed to get the use of those stars throughout the whole film, when in theory, storyline-wise, they've gone well early. Like John Travolta so, dies halfway through. Shh, just in case no one's seen it. He didn't die. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you need to do one of them. Yeah, when the old Pop-Tarts go up. That's true, yes. Yeah, Yeah, he dies halfway through. But yet, what I love it is, love about it has been every one of those characters last the length of the film. And it's an amazing film as well. It's a, it's a cult classic. Some people still hate it. I love it. I love So with fiction. regards to filming, like Tarantino may have just had two days with one actor, two days with They didn't. No, they obviously they didn't film it in that sequence did they no apart from the main actors they um yeah just had a couple of days of each mm. and if you look at reservoir dogs i don't think s- i've seen that film. you want to see how low budget that is one room one sort of warehouse, it's a warehouse for most it, yeah. of the time in a warehouse but beautifully done again he's a genius the man's a genius anyway let's talk about who was on at the start of the week and who was on who's coming up so we had Natalie on. On Friday. She was the accountant. Um, yeah, and she was she was quite funny. We, we spoke a little bit about everything, really, and how she got into what she was doing, um, tax returns. Cause quite, a genius um, move on our part, Rach. Right? <laughs> to bring the accountant out. We didn't do it on purpose, but the accountant has come out right on the turn of the tax year. Yeah. It was literally yesterday, yeah. wasn't it? The fifth of April, yeah. and hers came out. Fifth of April, we did that Perfect. on purpose, guys. Yeah, we this did. We know exactly what we're doing here. Planned. Yeah? Well planned, <laughs> and that's what you should get. From, that's what you should expect from the Cheryl podcast. Well planned things like that. We've got we've got a Father's Day special coming up in June. <laughs> that's already been shot, yeah. and it's got a, hu- a husband and wife. It's got a father and son in it. Friends of ours. That's coming up. See, we do stuff where well, we try to get stuff in line with certain events. Um, and this I have Friday, to start thinking then if we're that fine in advance, I have to start thinking about your birthday because my birthday will, will be it won't next be far. on the podcast. Oh, birthday, it? Your birthday on the podcast. I have to think about that. Oh, stripper, get me magic mic in, and I'll just sit here and he can strip for me. Okay, <laughs> I'll do it in return if you want. I won't. <laughs> I see what you're going to strip for me in return. No. 
I'll get someone in. Okay. Um, so who's coming up? Hayden Bloomfield, Hayden isn't it? Bloomfield. Hayden is that, Bloomfield. Is it Bloomfield, yeah. Hayden Bloomfield. He is. From he's got pink a pink Panther. panda productions. <laughs> I knew I'd pink, say that. Pink panda productions, and he's like a content creator. So you can go to him. Your company can go to him, and he'll create a, a number of short clips and things like that it's based on interviews of your company like that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah and yeah so he'll be here he'll be on the podcast next friday that's worth a watch well they're all worth a watch didn't they otherwise you wouldn't be on the old cherrywood podcast and once again thank you all for tuning in because we are now on forty thousand. Forty thousand of you <laughs> all over the world as well um if you from did... new zealand to cleef Forks. Right? I don't know, it just came out. <laughs> Did you actually make that up? Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, all over because the world. Because I, I, I am quite gullible, aren't I? So I yes. do believe you're right. Yeah. Thank you for listening and watching our friends in Canada. Um, I'll be going to Canada soon. So if you want to meet me at the Sky Dome, I'll be at the Sky Dome. <laughs> <laughs> don't give out dates or anything like that, will you? <laughs> or Should I give out dates? <laughs> no! no it's, you're still at home. No one's going to rob the house. Yeah, you're still at home. I'll be watching the Tampa Bay, the Tampa Bay something race, Tampa Bay Devil Rays against the Blue Jays Devil at home Rays. at the Blue Jays. Devil Rays, that yeah, cool. Yeah, in May on the Saturday. So if you if you're can, can, from Canada, you want to find me and say hello, and we we'll have a we we'll have a selfie. We we'll do a little podcast short with you on it because you'll be our first person to notice me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be at the Blue Jays game with my son. I'll be celebrating my 50th. My son will be celebrating his 30th and we're having a long weekend. So come and find us, Tampa Bay Rays, Blue Jays. If there is anyone out there that wants to come on the podcast, if they've got um, a local business or a charity or anything like that, please, please, please feel free to get in touch. Come and have a chat with us. Um, yeah. And wedding vendors, wedding vendors. We need you on this podcast. You need us as much as we need you. Because we want to show these. <laughs> you need us. We want to show um, the these couples the best vendors in the UK and around the world. Because wedding vendors can help all around the world. You can edit something mm. from across the other side of the world. It's Photographers getting, will travel as well. It's getting to know who's behind the brand. So you've got a brand yeah. out there and you want people to know you. Come on. Yep. Tell us your story. That's it. If you're boring, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> beep. Did you read the old beep? Hopefully they heard the horn as well, otherwise it's just me going beep randomly. We're right um, by a main road here and it's by a window. So the studio isn't perfect, but it does the job, doesn't it, good. Rachel? It does it's the job. The studio. Yeah. Right, we've got some charity events <clears throat> coming up. We've got the soccer football match. So, sorry, celebrity, spelt with an S, soccer football match on the 13th of May. So we're at West Ham's ground, which was the Olympic Stadium, which I believe is now called the London Stadium, Wednesday the 13th no. of May. Oh, Monday. sorry, Monday the 13th of May. <laughs> Monday the 13th of May, 7.30 kickoff. Get down there. We have access to all areas. We're going to be interviewing Danny Dyer. We're going to be interviewing Rachel just wants to go in the boys' changing rooms. The boys' locker room. It just turns me on. If anyone knows where that, what film that's from, oh, the boys' locker room. It just turns me on. I do, because you say yeah, it all the time. Yeah, but don't say it. <laughs> if it. If you know what that film is from, what that line is from. What film, what film that? that line is from. <laughs> we'll then, get there one day. <laughs> then you um, message in. The first one to message in gets, me, gets a mug. Gets a terrible podcast mug. All right? Have you got any? Uh, I'll find some. <laughs> No, one, no one's going to message you. No one's going to message you, mate. <laughs> okay, uh, okay um, where are we going? And then I've got my. I'm still raising money for my Machu Picchu. Yep. Um, charity event that's happening in September. Rachel's so, jolly. Uh, it's not jolly. Even no. Alison, we had Alison on, didn't we? Yeah, we had the charity on. They won't be. You won't see them until June-ish. But the charity came in. She was lovely. Alison, Rachel was far too busy to worry about charity and turned up late. Alison. She got major abuse for it as well. <laughs> Major but yeah, abuse. she was good. And even she said she it's not a jolly. Even she said she actually it's because not you were late, jolly. it turned into a jolly in her eyes. <laughs> and then she wants me to do Everest Base Camp. Yeah, she was. Which she uh, you know, I soon sent her on her way for that. <laughs> you know I mean? So yeah, I'm still training. I'm still raising money. Um, so if you wanted to sponsor me on our website, there is a little link, and you can click on me, and you can sponsor me. There we go. 
Okay, oh. should we get on with this? Um, so, Pulp Fiction versus Aladdin. Pulp Fiction versus Aladdin. You did do something really nice for me, though, didn't you? Yes, go on then. What was it I did? <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, what did I do? On my 30th. Yeah. You, um, Three years ago. How many? Three. Ah, you, no, one. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, Last week. You, <laughs> I'm mm. actually 21. <laughs> Stay. You, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 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 you surprised me. Um, what well, part of my birthday surprise was um, one night I, you took me to the cinema and you gave me a ticket and it was a ticket to a film that was actually out at the time. Walked in, sat down, all the trailers came up and the popcorn adverts as they it was do. It's an empty sort of thing. It's empty there most of the time anyway, isn't it? Um, I could hear people. Yeah. So I, I knew there were the people in there as well. And then a video came up. And it was a video of me, you know, going through my childhood and, you know, pictures of me growing up and all my family and friends and stuff like that. And then at the end, it said, now stand up and turn around. And I did. And because it was a tiered cinema, so there was a bottom part, there was a top part. And all at the top, there was all my family and friends. And you'd done a personalised screening of my favourite film, which was Aladdin. Yep. <laughs> So yeah. how cute was that? Cost me a fortune. A film that's been watched by everyone a thousand times cost me a fortune to watch it in a cinema. You're you should welcome. have said I used to work at cinema. You should have said I would have got contacts and nearly done it for free. Why would I have said? <laughs> this is what I want to do for your birthday. <laughs> I do love a good surprise. Are you doing me a surprise? No. Well, well there will be surprises at your party. But... Well, you're not going to turn up. <laughs> I'm going to come out the birthday cake. <laughs> oh, you can do what with the birthday cake? Oh, come out of it. Right, okay. Anyway, <laughs> quiz. Am I, I'm, I'm using this, aren't yeah, I? Yeah, rub that off. Right, so, so Pulp Fiction versus Aladdin. I'm a Pulp Fiction expert, not. Rachel is an Aladdin expert. I've seen, yes. Pulp, I've seen Pulp Fiction a few times. Yeah, I know you have. Um, so the rules are first to ten. It's like a penalty shootout, but you have to be too clear. You have to be two questions clear. So I am Rachel winning. is the champion. I am winning at the moment. That's, I don't like it like that. What? <laughs> you just do. Give us that bit chalk. Just put a line there. There, no, because it'll be in front of them. So that side's your side, this side's mine. We put it there like that. And you can't see it because of the light in any way. So it's all perfect. Right, here we go then. Okay. Who's, who's having first? the first question? Who went first last time? I think I went first, didn't I? So I don't know. I just got to try and work out how to unlock, unlock the old iPad now. <laughs> right, okay. Sorry, but. Jeannie won't be able to help you. Right, okay. Right. When was Aladdin originally released? I have four dates for you. Okay. I think I know it, but... Okay. What, year? Uh, it, it, that's what it's I'm assuming. It's the fall on date, yeah. Oh, no, I, I probably know the year. I don't know the well, date. Well, okay, I'll, I'll let you go with the year. That's fair enough. You won't have to be multiple choice then. <clears throat> oh, now, fresh. Is it 1994? And that's an incorrect answer. No. 1992. I was thinking too. November 25th, 1992. Oh, I would damn it. That's, that's I thought it 32 was, I years old. Thought, 32 years old. 32 years old. I thought it was earlier than that because I thought Beauty and the Beast came out in 91. Um, earlier means older. Um, sorry. Um, yeah. Okay. Your choices were October 2012. No. A January 95, no. which you may have gone for. I wouldn't have gone for that one. December 73. No. Or November 92. Oh, I should have got the option. Yeah, Damn I know. It. <laughs> Next, give me a Pulp Fiction question. Let's okay. Go. Right. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know really all the names, so you have to excuse yeah, me with the pronunciation. Yeah, that's Don't worry about it. <laughs> what does Pumpkin call his girlfriend in the restaurant before they rob it? I know this. I love you, Pumpkin. I love you, Honey Bunny. Is it Honey Bunny? Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So this is me, isn't it? Yeah. Zero. Zero and one. Oh, this chalk isn't nice working. I can chalk not work. And one. Yes. Next question. Oh, it's oh, like badminton all over day. again. It's going to be an early day, guys. <laughs> um, okay. Who said the line? Imagine if you had three wishes, three hopes, three dreams, and they all could come true. Can you say it in a 
in like an Aladdin style voice okay. or a genie style yeah. voice. Or... Who said the line? Imagine if you had free wishes, <laughs> free hopes, free dreams, and they could all come true. It's got to be the genie, surely. I've got multiple choices here. So, is what, it genie or is genie or um? Come on, then give me the multiple choices then. No, you've gone for genie. Yeah. No, give me. The I didn't have choices. any multiple choices yeah, on you mine. You don't have multiple choices on yours. That's the thing. I it's don't. a tagline. Aladdin, Jasmine, or Jafar? Jafar would never say it. Jasmine didn't know. It's a tagline. Mm. That that bit defeats the question. Who said? So it's got to be the who genie. said the line. Genie's not even on there. So, oh. <laughs> so that is an incorrect answer. You said genie twice, even though you was given four multiple choice questions, oh. which didn't have <laughs> genie in them. So I so think I personally think it's tagline. And That's a crappy tag- question. That is that is a bad question. <sighs> who said the line? Actually, it's a tagline. That's crap. That's crap. You had the multiple choice questions. That's crap. You even said tagline. So then you went genie. Yeah, but now you've just taken genie from me. Give us the next me. one. It gets two <laughs> nil. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. What was the place the two at the start, uh, Pumpkin and Honey Bunny, attempted to rob and Vincent and Jules ate breakfast at? What was the name of oh, the, the place? Oh, the name of it? Yeah. Oh, no. I just know it's a... It's a um, it was it's a, a cafe. It's a beast, like a calf. Bistro. <laughs> A bistro. Bistro? Uh, is that right? Bistro. Yeah. Um, it's a calf. I have no idea of the name of that. I don't know the name of it. Sure. That's your answer? You don't know? Yeah, I don't know up. the name. Hawthorne Grill. Never would have got it. Never. <laughs> so still. Still nil one. one <laughs> nil one. It's be a long day. <laughs> one love. <laughs> I'm shocking at the moment, so don't worry about it. Finish the song. Finish the song. Can your friend do this? Can your friend do that? Right, I've got to sing it in my head, but I'm not singing it out loud because my voice is really No, rich. your voice is lovely. And stop turning sideways on this podcast. Please. Please give throw me a frigging bottle here. Can your friend do this? Can your friend do that? He pulls a rabbit out of a hat. Have I got options again? You've not given me these options. Can your friend do this? Can your friend do that? Oh, God. I can see it. I can hear it. Can your friend... I guess I rabbit out of a hat, something like that. Can your friend pull this out of their little hat? Yeah, and then he pulls a rabbit out of the hat. That is te- Come on, I, I'm allowed that one. I'm giving you it. Thank you. There was multiple choice, but I'm not giving you... <laughs> That's no, not I'm fair. not giving you multiple choice answers. Not when you give me what was the name of the restaurant. You said you're an expert. One all. Why have you put it back? Because I'm asking you and then we can change it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so at the start of Pulp Fiction, <laughs> definitions come up. Of pulp yes. before the movie. Yes. How many definitions come up before the movie starts? I, f- I feel that only one definition comes up. Um, maybe two. Oh, pulp fiction. Because I know what it no, is. No, it's not pulp fiction. It's just the word pulp. No, pulp. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's like um, a mixture is one of the definitions. I feel, oh God, I want to say one. I'm sure it's one, one definition. Oh, you're wrong. It was two. (laughs) There's the following the two definitions. The second one is more relevant to the movie. Pulp, a soft, a soft, moist, sharp, shapeless mass. Blah blah blah. A magazine or book containing lucid subject matter. Oh, I didn't know that. Printed on rough. I just remember the because obviously I've been in the pulp industry for thirty years. Uh, But yeah, one all. I got my zero. Why not? This is going to be a long old podcast. Why not? Oh, that's a really bad one. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's all right. It's a positive one. Oh. Um, that's it. That's enough noise there. Well done. <laughs> Who's Jasmine's pet? Uh, Raja the tiger. Raja. Ra- yeah. Raja the tiger. Correct. Yes. 
You've gone for hard Pulp Fiction questions. I, I didn't even put hard. I just put hard. Uh, no. <laughs> I put, you just put hard. No, I didn't go for that. I just put hard, hard. Pulp Fiction questions in. No, I just put Pulp Fiction trivia. Use the mic? <laughs> right, okay. What actor's character used... Oh, this is an actor one. Right, so what actor's character used this quote in the movie? Just because you are a character doesn't mean that you have character. Just because you are a character doesn't mean that you have character. Who said that? Just because you are a character doesn't mean you have character. Just because you are a character doesn't mean you have character. Um. So it, they're looking for... I'll, I'll give you either... The actor who says it. Yeah, I know, yeah. Or probably Samuel L. Jackson. The character in the film. I'm thinking that says Samuel L. Jackson. It. Is that your yeah, answer? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Who was it? Harvey Cartel. Um, Winston Wolf. Is it Win Winston <sighs> Wolf? And he says it to a girl called Raquel. Yes, I know. He says it to Raquel just as they drive off. Yeah. He assisted Vincent yeah, yeah. Vincent Vega. Yes, he did. Ditched in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Winston <laughs> Wolf. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so is this gonna still nil nil, babe? What are you doing? What are you doing? I got my question oh, yeah, right, damn. didn't I? <laughs> I? Forgot about that. Why did I say still nil still nil? nil, nil. <laughs> You're thinking of a Charlton game. <laughs> How did Jafar die? Well, he didn't really die because he just got sucked into a lamp. He got his handcuffs on. Um, not in a kinky sense. He got his cuffs on and then he got sucked into a lamp and he went into the cave of wonders because the genie flicks him into a into the cave of wonders mm. so what's your answer that is my answer how did your father die that is my answer what he got trapped into a lamp that's not how you die though is it he didn't die that's the thing he didn't die <laughs> <laughs> incorrect see he got turned into a genie and thrown into the hot lava it's not hot lava because in the second one no. he comes back as a genie. Here's so the he doesn't here's, die. here is the answers. He got turned into a genie and thrown oh. into the hot lava. It's bullshit. Right? He got turned into a he genie. Got turned into, I just said that. I'm the judicator. Here. I said that though, did I? Not a boulder say that? falls on him. No. He doesn't die. No. Which are the words you said? He doesn't. He, he doesn't die because he comes back in the second film as that's, a genie. That's correct. So I selected he doesn't die, and it was incorrect. It was he got thrown into uh, hot lava. Incorrect, unfortunately. No, I, I am having that. I will give you another question, as that was slightly bogus. <laughs> I'm not giving you that one, because that was too easy. How many animated Aladdin movies are there? Three. Because I watched the last one the other day. <laughs> I was thinking, not just Disney. I was thinking it's a trick question, like someone's made a shite, cheap Aladdin. No, there's Aladdin, yeah, so Return of Jafar, All right. and uh, King of Thieves, which is his dad. I've gone for <laughs> easy Aladdin questions. Oh, that one's too easy for you. <clears throat> what one? Who who directed Pulp Fiction? But we've already told you. Quentin Tarantino. Put no, it down. No, that wasn't the question. Why are, you, why are you skipping easy ones? Right, you need to tell me. Who played mm. Mia? That you got to get all these right for the point. Yeah. Mia, Uma Vincent. Thurman. So Mia, Vincent, Jules, Butch. Right. Okay. Mia is Uma Thurman. Yep. Vincent Vega, John Travolta. Yep. What was next? Jules. Jules. I'm going to go Samuel Jackson. I'm not sure if his name was Jules in it. Right. Let me have a quick look because <laughs> I've listed everyone. Here. And. Um, and Butch was Bruce Willis. Samuel Jackson, Bruce. Yes, well done. All right, so there was a list of names there, like a cast list, and I had to find all the right ones. So that is three, two now. Right, my next question is, Aladdin comes from a land, a faraway place, where the caravan camels roam. What city is that? Agrabah. Oh, shit. I thought that was going to be hard. <laughs> Straight away. Okay, my question. Um, 
As Vincent Vincent tells Jules, what is a quarter pounder called in Europe? Royal with cheese. Yes, well done. So we are now 40. Yeah. Four two. Princess Jasmine almost loses her hand for stealing. Oh, four three. Four three, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I was in him question. I'm super busy concentrating on your question, so just feel free to cheat. <laughs> Princess Jasmine almost loses her hand for stealing what piece of fruit? Apple. She steals an apple. Uh, right, this is in the film. Okay. Mm. What is the name? <laughs> What is the name of the bartender from whom Butch buys red apples? Oh my God, how am I supposed to know that? <laughs> it's in there and it, because he references him as well in the film. Look, I can't even remember him buying red apples. Did you say oh, red apples? Yeah, yeah. This is actually part of the film. It's got red apples, so I'm assuming it's a It's cider. just a name, one it, name. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's a name. Of a drink because he's in a bar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But so it's just one name for the bar. One name. Oh god, this just could be so random. If you get this right, I'll give you. I'll let you have the win. If you get this name right, you can have the win, babe. Really? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. this is a random name guess from you. I'm assuming because you don't yeah. know the answer. But if you pull this out the hat, then I will give you the whole win, hands down. Um, I, do, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Um, it's not Dave. <laughs> I nearly said Dave. It's not Dave. Um, Douglas. What is it? Paul. Paul. <laughs> Very simple day. I actually thought for a split second there that you would have got that. But obviously no. no so that's all. five, three then still. Okay. The genie would make an impressive actor. Who does he not do an impression of? Well, I've got one. Yeah. Give us a shift. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jack Nicholson, Robert De Niro, or Ray Leno? Jay Leno, sorry. Ray Leno, Jay Leno. I think it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. He doesn't do an impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger. That is incorrect. That is the only one I remember him doing an impression of. Absolute power. That is oh, incorrect. Yes, of course. I think it's Jay, Jay Leno. Leno. I think it might be Robert De Niro, but it's definitely not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Damn it. Yep. Yep, that's incorrect. So you put Schwarzy, didn't you? Schwarzkopf. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah, go on then. It's your question. <clears throat> When Jules, a.k.a. Samuel L. Jackson, and Vincent, John Travolta, are standing outside their, are standing outside their car... Let's get into character. Wait, yeah. wait. Oh, no. What on. does Jules say they should have bought? Oh, I should know this. Oh, I should know this. I, sh I should have bought... I knew he was going to do this competition. Why didn't I watch it last night? <laughs> Why didn't I watch it last night? You were busy last night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Should have bought... Uh, it probably even said F in, in it. Should have bought an F in. Machine gun. Bigger gun. No. Shotgun. Shotgun. <laughs> I was, I, should, I've been I, saying gun though, haven't I? Yeah, but it's a shotgun and he does actually say to the camera, we should have bought a shotgun. Mm. So, shall I give you half a point? Give me half a point. Okay, half a point. So I, knew it was a, I knew it was a weapon. Okay, I knew it was that's a why I'm giving you a half point. I knew it was point, a gun type weapon. But it's a film about shooting. So, of course, they're going to bring Not guns, aren't they? film about shooting, they? is it? Um, what was that on? Six. Six port V 3.5. <laughs> Because I gave you half point. No, but you're going to win this easy. What is Jafar's parrot's name? Iago. I don't even know. That. I don't even need the thingy on that one, do I? <laughs> okay. Um, 
As Jules and Vincent drive to Brett's, what song is playing on the radio? And this song is played. Please note, this song is, is heard elsewhere in the movie as well. Get down, get down. Get down, get down, get down, get down, jungle boogie. Jungle boogie, get up with it, get down. Well done. <laughs> four and a half. So that's seven versus four and a half. Mm-hmm. Why are you doing that? Because I'm Ooh. always prepared. Speaking of parrots, uh, well, which actor betrayed him? Wait, 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 wait. You get to prepare. I don't. That's not fair. What's four the name of the actor five. that does the parrot's voice? Um, I have no idea. Have I got options? No. Yes, I have. Give me the options, no, I'm not giving you liar. Because <laughs> the me... three that aren't are very obvious. So no. Well, that's not fair. No, it is. You've given me no multiple choice. And if I, if you, I put, don't have multiple choice. If you had choice. put exactly, I don't have multiple choice. So who? What was the actor that done the parrot's voice? You don't know. Okay. Can I just have a first name? Gilbert. No, I was going to guess it, <laughs> oh, right. like we did, but no. You just asked for first name? No, I wouldn't guess No, Gilbert Gottenfield, Gottenfried or something like that. that it's got to be because the other four, Robin Williams, Tom Hanks, John Travolta. Mm. It was obvious, oh, wasn't it? Is that what he looks like? Oh, yeah. I don't know who he is. But right. I wouldn't have ever okay. said him. Good. Right, okay, so your question. Duh, 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 duh. Pumpkin and Honey are talking. Yep. Um, to what animal does... Honey bun, lichen, pumpkin. So when they're talking in the calf. Don't tap. Sorry. Um, I think it's bear. Sure? No. No. I love you, honey bunny. I love you. Something bear. Something bear. I love you, honey bunny. Bear. I'm going to go bear. Yeah? Yeah. Sure? No, but bear. Bear. It's a duck. <sighs> Never the got... exact line is you sound like a duck, imitates a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> oh, I thought you were doing it like it was a pet name. No, no it just says. Yeah, what? I remember her saying it now. <laughs> <I remember laughs> saying, but you made it sound like a pet name the way yeah, you read it. And you read out some of those wrong as well, don't you? Right. It's All right, so it's eight, four and a half, mm-hmm. isn't it? What kind of animal? Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's alive. What kind of animal is in the Cave of Wonders? What? Is that saying? Is it? Oh, sorry, oh. I'll read it again. It's not in. The word in isn't there. It's alive. What kind of animal is the Cave of Wonders? Oh, it's like um, a, a tiger, lion, big-headed. No, I know what Your it is. options are lion, tiger. Camel or elephant? Well, it's not a camel or elephant. It's between a lion and a tiger. Okay. So, uh, but what's the difference, though? I'm going to go for tiger because it do- doesn't have a mane or anything, so. You sure? Yes. Okay, give you that. Then. Okay. So you've got nine points. I have got nine points at the moment, but you need to answer your question first. What time does Jules and Vincent get to the young man's apartment? They get there dead on a time. Yes, because it's they even they even show you this and it says this. Eight and o'clock. then and then eight he, and then he comments on it. Eight o'clock. No. Seven twenty two AM. Oh my god. Man, you get up early if you're gonna you man, you've you've got to get up early if you're gonna be a hit man. So seven <sighs> over four point five. <laughs> so nine against four point five. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're going down. <laughs> Right, okay, here's the question. What do Aladdin and Pikachu have in common? What? It's his eyes twinkle, his feather falls over, he sneezes. Oh, it's his feather because he keeps going like that and yeah, he brushes when he it lies. back. So I think when Pikachu must lie, his thing falls over. Not a clue. Yeah, exactly. I have not a clue about half of these questions. Next. What was the owner of... What was the owner of the gun shop's name? He's got. He's even got a part in it. So I know it's Zed. I'm thinking Zed. Um, Zed's dead, honey. Zed's dead. Um, I don't know if that's the main bloke though. 
because the owner of the gun shop wasn't called Zed. Zed came in later on. I'm going to just go with Zed. What is it? Maynard. The twisted owner of the gun shop was Maynard and yeah. his pal Zed. Zed, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah Zed turns up. I think Zed's a policeman, funny enough. Yeah, Zed's dead. Oh, Zed. Zed's dead, honey. Zed's dead. Right, okay. According to Prince Ali, which is not part of the animal collection, which is not part of his animal collection? I need options on this, though. 95 white monkeys, 75 golden camels, 45 white rhinos, 53 purple peacocks. It's got to be the rhinos. I think I'm just going to have to give it to you. It is rhinos. As he says, he's got the monkey. He's got something, something, golden camels. <laughs> and then all the peacocks come and in. And the elephants are there as well, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it's not even mentioned that. And peacocks come, <laughs> peacocks come in. in. Okay, I'm going to give you that. You have if you, one if again. If you do it, won't it tell you if it's right or not? No, it doesn't seem to. I think it's one of those quizzes that sort of ends. It will tell me at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really do, you, do you want your last one? Oh, well, I'm so glad I'm boring you both. <laughs> I'm getting bored. Go on, carry on. Okay, in the restaurant, mm. what does Mia order that surprises Vince by the cost? Um, five dollar shake. Uh, five dollar shake. Milkshake. No, <laughs> that's what the answer. Yeah, says. but the film is just says five dollar shake. You got a shake, right? It's ice cream, milk, mixed together. It costs five dollars. <laughs> it's got to be a main fucking shake. Anyway, <laughs> champion again. Sorry, guys. It was a uh, boring. Ten to as anything. five and a half. Ten to five point five. So <laughs> Aladdin wins over Pulp Fiction. Um, you need to prepare more. I need to prepare more. Yeah. You need I to will. get your hard questions out because if you're going to win, that is the only way you win. I yeah. I need to prepare more. But uh, yeah. We're just we're having to think about what we can do on Mondays, everyone. As you can see, we are clutching at the old straw. No, not this is fun because I keep winning. Do you like it? <laughs> if you enjoy it, say comment for us. Say yeah, no, it's fine. Just keep doing it, but just be a bit more slick with it. <laughs> more like this podcast. <laughs> but thank uh, you so much for listening, everyone. We're really sorry if we annoy you, but if we annoy you, you don't have to listen. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> very true. Yeah. All right. Cool. I think that's it. Thank you. Have Thank a great you. week. And remember, we've got Hayden coming out on Friday from Pink Panda Productions. Every time I keep saying Pink Panther. Panther. But we, is, he even did it in the podcast. Yeah, didn't I think, did he say Panther? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's even worse when you get your own company name on. <laughs> anyway, Thank have you fun. So Take care. Bye. Bye. Look after each other and yourself. Bit like Jerry Springer, but the other way around. Okay, bye. This podcast has been brought to you by Snug Dubs Camper Van Hire. Roam the world park anywhere at snugdubs.co.uk this podcast was brought to you today by austin's eatery on station road strood try the viking challenge 